Welcome to Our City. I'm Alonzo Jones, sitting in for Mayor Chris Bowich. Here's what's going on this week around our city. On Thursday, September 25th at 11 a.m., Mayor Bowich will attend the ribbon cutting ceremony for the Neighborhood Health Center located on 252nd Street in Elizabeth. The Neighborhood Health Services Corporation's mission is to provide high quality, customer focused, cost effective primary health care services in a safe and accessible environment for residents in the community. For more information, call Paulette Hussey at 908-454-4600, extension 4002. On Saturday, September 27th at 9 a.m., Mayor Bowles will attend the second annual Salvadorian Health Fair, which will take place at the Immaculate Conception Church parking lot located at 417 Union Avenue in Elizabeth. The health fair sponsored by the Salvadorian Consulate of Elizabeth will provide free health screenings, information, and much more. For more information, call 908-820-0881. Later in the morning at 10.30 a.m., Mayor Bowles will join Councilwoman at Large, Patricia Perkins Augusti, in the annual Women's Scholarship Fund breakfast event. The event will take place in the Stephen Sampson Senior Center, located at 800 Anna Street in Elizabeth, and will feature the installation of new offices, a light breakfast and information pertaining to the upcoming year. In the afternoon at 2 p.m., Mayor Bowles will join members of the Elizabeth Coalition to house the homeless in a Service Nation Day of Action event. The event will take place on 118 Division Street in Elizabeth and will consist of collecting food and blanket donations for the homeless. Service Nation is a bipartisan coalition of more than 110 organizations that works to expand opportunities for voluntary community and national service. Promoting use of pro, pro, proven service strategies to, the, to address the challenges facing our nation and recognize services as being a core ideal of our democracy. In the evening at 7 p.m., Mayor Bowles will join members of the Frank O. Mazza Civic Association in the San Vito Dinner Dance celebration, which will take place at the Pines Manor in Edison. Proceeds from the event will help raise funds for a new statue in the Peterstown section of Elizabeth. The event will feature the Valtese Band, Grupo Musical Primavera, Food, DJ, and much more. For more information, call 908-351-5775. On Sunday, September 28th at 4 p.m., the Portuguese Instruct Instructive Social Club will host a cultural festival and family picnic celebration. The event will take place at 417 Highway No. 1 in Elizabeth and feature an array of food, music, and entertainment for all to enjoy. For more information, call 908-355-1222. If you need more information concerning this or any of the events this week, please call the Public Information Office at 908-820-4124. Joining me today to discuss the Salvadorian Consulate is none other than Mr. Walter Gonzalez, the Administrative Assistant. How are you, sir? I'm fine today. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Walter, uh, first question, how, or should I say, why did the Salvadorian Consulate choose Elizabeth as its main location? This is a good question because uh, this is the very first time we have found uh, a very good support from the city of Elizabeth, and that's why we decided. Uh, first of all, it was a plan of a central government in order to extend the consular network in the U.S. Uh, since uh, from eight to 11 consulate in the area. Mm -hmm. And then we are opening consulate in Woodbridge in Virginia, and then Nogales, Arizona, and Elizabeth. And this mm -hmm. is because uh, there is a growing community of Salvadorian. You know that the U.S. Census um, calculates that it exists 600 Salvadorian mm -hmm. in the area, but the consulate estimate more the double than that quantity. Okay. Definitely want to welcome you once again to Elizabeth. Yeah. And thank you for choosing Elizabeth. Uh, when was the council established? Well, we started operation on May the 3rd, 2005. Okay. And when you see backward, you see the old achievements you have get to the community. But when you're looking backward, you see the hard way to go. It is still coming. A lot of hard work. Yes, it is. Okay. And what kind of services do you offer to the community? Well, we can divide it in, in two services, the administrative and regular services, and the other is the humanitarian services. First of all, you know, 
everybody attends to the consulate in order to obtain a passport, um, regular vital registration as birth, marriage, and death, and then some kind of authorization for issuing a passport of an underage who is in El Salvador, mm -hmm. and one of these parents is here in the U.S. Um, any other relatives, uh, some kind of, let's say, um, surviving extended document for people who's going to retire in mm -hmm. the U.S., but is receiving um, a benefit economically in El Salvador. Okay. And then the humanitarian, there's another thing, because uh, this is the invisible part of the work in, in a consulate, because uh, you see, for example, there's uh, people who is immigrating every time, but there are kids that are immigrating mm -hmm. too. So most of them, and that's it's a shame to say, but it is unfortunately most of these kids are abandoned mm -hmm. in the way to the U.S. So we are trying to unify the families, mm -hmm. the kids with the parents into the U.S. And otherwise, we are seeing visiting the prisoners mm -hmm. in uh, the person who is a detainee and having a condom and any other things. We are trying to documentate all of these cases. Okay. Now in the past three years, have your services changed or expanded or anything new and different? Yeah, we have, uh, we have extended our services because Elizabeth Consulate, it was open to approach and outreach to the community. You know, there exists a consulate in New York and the other in Long Island, mm. but there is no so communitarian service this is why this cons I mean this government opened this consulate okay. to have this coverage. All right, that's a lot of work. It sounds like it that. is. It okay, is. but it's it's very good to do. So, with all this great information and and this assistance provided, what's what's been the response from the residents? Well, the community has been a, a, a good response. We attended to the consulate, and there is a phenomenon yet that you had to observe in this. Uh, when arriving to the city in Elizabeth in 2005, there was no, no many people, let's say, that Salvadorian who has a passport. Mm -hmm. But in five years, you can measure it in terms of the people who has attended to the consulate. In three years, we have serviced more than 10,500 passport mm -hmm. in a single matter each one. So you can have an idea of how many people is trying to do this every day. Excellent. Now, the Salvadorian population in the last few years, has it grown? It is. Uh, as I was telling you, the census for the U.S., it estimated that there is a population estimated on 6,500 Salvadorian in the, in the area. But we have estimated for Union County 12,700 people, mm -hmm. and that gives you a, a statewide population in a total amount of 80,000 Salvadorians. Mm. That's growing up. Now, with the growing number of El Salvadorians and your, and your agency, all that you have to do, um, have more residents of Salvadorian descent become more involved with your organization and more people reached out to help you? Of course, and, and it's very interesting to see that um, it's a phenomenon, it's a, it's a social thing, you know, because it is some kind of generation after generation. Mm -hmm. uh, the f you can see the, the first immigrants in 1970, mm -hmm. they have grown and they have grown his own child and uh, they have achieved some studies, graduate, some of them. Now we can see uh, Salvadorian many businessmen, many businesswomen, and also they are in the politics. We have a Salvadorian in the New Jersey Department of Homeland Security, Mr. Mm -hmm. Richard Canyons, mm -hmm. and another director from the Department of Homeland Security is another Salvadorian with Mrs. Curling Espinal. Mm -hmm. and, and so, more Salvadorian are involving in so many different activities. 